Um, so there's actually a statistic that up to 50% of sexual assaults um, involve alcohol, whether it's the perpetrator, the victim, or both. Bars across Tennessee are taking steps to prevent alcohol-related abuse. They are becoming Safe Bar certified. That means staff are trained to detect certain behaviors. The Barrel House by Gypsy Circus is the first Safe Bar certified business in Knoxville. Reported to Center Render found out how this training will help their employees stop alcohol-related abuse. UT students, we see married couples, we see people on dates, that it was an opportunity to raise awareness. Stephanie Carson, the co-owner of the Barrel House at Gypsy Circus, says they are the first, quote, safe bar in Knoxville taking steps to make bars safe for everyone. The Safe Bar Initiative was started by the Sexual Assault Center of Middle Tennessee to educate workers about alcohol's role in sexual assault and domestic violence. It, it can happen anywhere at any time to any gender of patron. The training is free and only takes a few hours. Advocates from the sexual assault response teams believe more safe bars are needed. So I think that Safe Bar shows uh, staff at bars and restaurants how uh, to do the right thing in these situations. Supporters also say it is a fight against victim blaming. You no, know, we're told that women who drink uh, are asking for it, um, that Safe Bar comes in, tosses that away. To prevent acts of sexual assault, employees are trained to spot certain behaviors. Anything that relates to um, racism, homophobia, transphobia, any of those, these are all very interconnected to sexual violence and sexual harassment. Jack Omis, a safe bar trainer, says some behaviors are aggressive and some are not. Um, and we give people all of these different examples to help them understand um, along the way. Like we hope that other bars in Knoxville follow suit. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Rinder. Now the Safe Bar Initiative also partners with the Tennessee Department of Health. All bar owners interested in the training are welcome to call their office at any time.